Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about dividing polynomials. So if I was given this to divide, n squared minus 3n minus 21 divided by n minus 7, okay? So if I want to divide this, all right, I'm going to use my long division. I'm going to take my n, or n minus 7 here and have it go into my n squared minus 3n minus 21. Okay, so now we're going to say, okay, what times n gives me n squared? Simple, that's just an n. So n right there, n times n gives me n squared. And I put n in a place value over my 3m, or minus 3m. And n minus, uh, times a minus 7 is a minus 7m. And now we're going to subtract these two, put parentheses around it. Make sure we subtract both parts. n squared minus n squared, which is 0, great. But minus 3n minus a negative 7n, sometimes I like to distribute this minus out, so like this, minus and negative plus, makes it easier to see. So now we're adding it, uh, we have a minus n squared, great, right there, would eliminate, minus 3n plus 7n is just a 4n, positive 4n, and then I bring down the minus 21, and we do this again. What times n gives me 4n, that's a positive 4, so we add a 4 here, 4 times n is 4n, and 4 times minus 7 is a minus, well it's minus 28. Okay, but now we need to subtract the two. Okay, subtract the two there. Well, 4n minus 4n is greater than 0, and then negative 21 minus a negative 20 is like adding a positive 28, and this time I won't distribute the minus on across. If you need to practice, try it, go for it and see it, but we have a positive 7 there. Okay, so that positive 7 is our remainder. So now when I write my final answer, I have n plus 4 plus 7, our remainder over, that's a big bar for the 7, over n minus 7. Won't that make that one as big? <laughs> that just doesn't look right. Uh, there we go. Eh, good enough. All right? And that is our final answer. So let's recap. We're given n squared minus 3n minus 21 divided by n minus 7. Under my long division here, I said, okay, what times n gives me n squared, and that's an n. I multiplied it out. It gave me a n squared minus 7n, and then I subtracted them. Or I right, through the subtraction sign, made an addition, it's a negative and a positive there. When I subtracted them, I got 4n. I brought down the minus 21 and said, okay, what times n gives me 4n? That's 4, so I multiplied 4 times both of these, and I subtracted them, giving me a final thing here, a 7, a remainder. So I have my remainder is 7. So now I can write my final answer, my n plus 4, which is written right up there, plus 7 over my divisor, n minus 7. 